Hey everyone and welcome. I am Sailor Drew. Let's hang out and play some Honey, I Joined a Cult. So we are on the precipice of disaster. <laughs> um, we had a few more Brendan Leavers leave like one right after another as soon as I ended last uh, episode. So we need to start recruiting some people like as soon as possible. And hopefully, I mean, somebody... Daniel Martinez. Okay, so he's like 518. Logan is our white whale. Uh, because he is 672. So I'm thinking that he is a, like a, of a poor quality <laughs> as opposed to like very poor. Uh, but yeah, like right now, like we genuinely seriously do need some people. So we have Daniel who is 518. His happiness is maxed out. So let's go ahead and recruit him and just hope. Oh, wow. Let's see. Look at him. He's like, he's like, just coming in. Like, thank you. <laughs> Praise Brendan Fraser. Yes. <laughs> and then just immediately went to the lobby. Fantastic. Okay. So let's take a look at him. So he's very poor quality. Okay. So even like at 500, I'm hoping the 600 guy is of poor quality as opposed to like very poor. The reason why this is a little bit of an issue too is because... Oh, she left. Okay. So someone we had who was very poor quality, she had leveled up, but she was at max level, which was like level three or something really low. So even though she had leveled up, like I couldn't really do anything. Like I couldn't get her to do anything. So, uh, lobby. Okay. So this guy immediately took to lobby. Oh, wow. And he's like already injured. What happened? <laughs> Surely he was injured before he came in. Like, I don't know. Like sending or listening, like, Feeling like some sort of like li you know like liability like suit coming on I don't know, all right so we are five strong our our believers Brent Leavers um grow once again, so maybe that's just the natural way of it just the ebb and flow of Brent Leavers like we didn't want those posers anyways because I mean come on like. We want, we want true brand believers. Like we don't want anybody coming in and being posers. So Amy is like the one that we just, we need her to be in a better mood. So she's got dirty hands. She's got a mission cooldown. Cause she just, we just sent her out on a mission. So, um, until we get better people in, I don't know. I mean, she might be the only one that we can send out on missions. We do have like a, a fair bit of uh of influence built up but that's also partially because we like haven't been able to do any research or anything a researcher left <laughs> so yeah uh let's see here god 672 i'm just like i need more people that are high like and less people that are super low I mean, I say super low, because I mean, even the 200 ones, like, they're obviously, like, poor. Uh, so maybe, I don't know. Like, we may have to wait to, like, start dismissing, dismissing some of the lower grade ones just until we can kind of get, like, our, our heat down a little bit further. So I'm hoping to do research to upgrade our recreation room. And then maybe, um... We could start working our way towards, where is it, heat reduction? Okay, so we've got to do burgers next. Then, uh, all right. So the question is, do we recruit somebody who's going to be really poor at their job and just stick them in there anyways? Or do we hold out for, like, better people? Like, I don't think we can wait, to be honest. Um, so if we do it like this, so Noah, God, so 518. See, and again, like, they're just going to be low quality. All right, let, maybe let's do, like, a couple things that will help with moods all around. Amy is, like, in a really bad mood. And I'm very, like, afraid that she's going to leave. Uh, okay, so does this mean broken objects? Oh, okay. Okay. I can smash all this up. Okay, so hopefully that'll help out a little bit. Okay, that actually helped out a lot. Like, her mood was, like, super low, and I was very, very scared that she was going to be leaving soon. 
I've moved our new recruit Daniel over to the research lab just because we need to start getting this research out of the way. I've got a couple queued up so uh, right now we're prioritizing the recreation room because they all need recreation really really badly and then after that we're gonna do with the food is the burgers so that way we can start getting some better food hopefully but also what I really really want to unlock is uh, the next thing oh where is it i'm like i was like just there uh yeah the heat reduction missions because our heat is kind of high <laughs> so i don't think we'll be going on any other missions until we can unlock this and start going on these because i don't know how much higher this can be before we start getting some unwanted attention it's it's not going to be good though so, all right, Niall, we need you to start springing into action here, dude. So he, uh, did he fix the pew? No, he didn't. Okay, so let's go in here and fix that. And let's see here, fix this. Even though I think what I'm going to do, so let's see here, uh, objects, move objects. I'm going to move all the fancy stuff in here. We don't have enough believers to actually like sit here and like justify like having i don't know all of these rooms opened <laughs> so yeah i am i'm gonna sit here and like take all the doors i feel like this is like very much the sims right but this will help like in, like consolidate like i guess our prestige like all into one room so move object okay we're just gonna have like a billion doors here because i don't want to like delete them like I, I don't know they cost money to build so uh let's see so build and walls so close these in especially these down here oops totally missed okay uh delete wall all right so they can't get into these two bedrooms so the prestige compared to these two, I mean, it's a lot better because we just like moved everything in here. Uh, hopefully, like, I don't know, we'll, we'll be able to like get some better stuff like in there like once we research the better bedroom upgrades. Because uh, yeah, the, the shoddy like cots that like have pee stains on them <laughs> and then the box for like their storage, like yeah, it's not cutting it at this point. Like I think like, 21 days in yeah like we probably should have like way better stuff by this like by this point but like it is what it is <laughs> but i just i want logan so bad where is he where is he where is he oh ooh, look at him there he is up at the top come on you know you want to join us <laughs> So I wonder if I should get Penelope in here. She's only got two traits, which kind of makes me, uh, oh, she eats mattresses. Uh, smells faintly of cheese and onion. Okay, I mean, she is a chef. I don't know, I guess let's try and recruit her and see what happens, like, as far as like, okay. So she is, oh, she's a poor. Oh, like she is, she's better than, uh, Oh, raging soil mood breaks only ever result in them soiling their pants. Okay. So level five is her cap. Excellent. All right. So that that's a lot better. So Penelope, let's get her out to uh, recruitment so we can start recruiting a little bit more. Daniel has leveled up. So for him to be researching, like he actually doesn't need like intelligence or anything. What are everybody's skills at? Cause then I can kind of maybe start filling in. Oh look, well, nobody has intelligence. So I guess we will get him some intelligence then. Yeah, cause I need to start like kind of filling in some of the gaps. So that way I can start sending some other people out into the world. Uh, yeah, so maybe that's the trick, though, is to s recruit people who have a smaller amount of traits in the beginning, because in that way, like, they don't have, like, three negative traits. They only have two bad ne negative traits. Like, it seems so backwards and stuff, but I don't know. 
I'm also sitting here like creeping in on people to see what they need so I can kind of like send them off to do it. So if they've got like dirty hands, like I'm having them sit there and wash their hands because it takes off that little um, mood buff. Okay, and they're saying that this is a horrible room. So maybe like, let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. I didn't mean to destroy that one wall, but. Cause I, yeah, I think size, I mean, just like room world, right? Like size matters. <laughs> uh, so lobby, okay. Uh, yeah, we need doors. Obviously. Okay, so let's see here, move. Okay, so research is done, okay. So they should, yeah, they're gonna start researching burgers and then heat reduction missions are, are gonna be next. So objects, oh, look at this, backgammon board. Okay, yeah, let's do this first actually. Oh really, we only got Okay, so we've got like a board. Oh, wow, what? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what's with all the people? Uh, okay, board game and a backgammon board. So let's maybe get a couple of these in here. Um, so that way we can, like, I think that, I think that'll be fine there. We'll just keep an eye on it, I guess. So I put a couple of bookshelves in here because I figured that makes sense. Maybe I should move them just in case it does block over there. Okay, yeah, we spent a lot of influence today. That's okay, though. Sermon was only a one-star quality. So, yeah, our faith issues are bad. So I don't think we're going to be able to do anything in, like, our... What's this called again? Oh, whoops, I did not mean to pick this up. Uh... I don't know what this room is. <laughs> it's not letting me click on it. Uh, leader's Sanctum. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. All right. So we've just finished researching uh, burgers. I totally lied. We're going to research the bedroom upgrades first because I think that will help with moods. But let's go ahead and buy burgers. So uh, how do we do that? Buy burgers. <laughs> A thousand. Holy cow. Okay. So prepare. We're going to pause the gruel even though we've got like a bunch of stuff for it. Uh, just because, yeah, we need to maybe, I don't know, prioritize getting that made first. So also, oh, 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 okay. Logan Black he is maxed out. Okay, recruit. Okay, let's see. Look at his little face. His little chocolate checks. Like, please, 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 please. Okay, excellent. He's poor. <laughs> Incompetent. Oh, no. Okay. So, and he's got a ton of mouth. We got a ton of burgers, ton of potatoes, and ton of peas. So, maybe we'll make him kind of like our, uh, our like, cook or something. So, kitchen. So, that way we can unassign Amy from doing that. So where is he? Logan Kitchen. Okay, what else should we have him run? Uh, let's see here. So research we've got taken care of. Maybe recruitment office. But he can't improv. Okay, it, he doesn't need improv to do this. Uh, yeah, because I mean everything else is. Oh wait, the meditation study studio. No one is in there. Okay, so we'll have him do those two things. So empathy and retail, okay. But we'll we'll uh, try and, oh, you have to improvise for the kitchen. Crud. So who could we have do this? Penelope, maybe? Uh, oh, Niall actually already has like a couple skill points in improvisation. So yeah, I guess we'll, we're gonna have him do that. I had him swap over to doing the lobby just because we didn't have anybody in there. So I figured like anything that breaks down, oh yeah, see now we're having like another wave of things breaking down. Um, I'll just, oh like, no, he's like, no, this is my job though. <laughs> 
you told me to do this and I'm gonna do it. So yeah, I don't know what you expect of me. Um, yeah, Logan's gonna be really bad at it. So I don't know. Let's see if uh, we can get a couple more people in here. So 490. Okay, wow. So, I mean, we got a few people that are like in the 500s, but if, as we've seen in the past, like that doesn't really mean anything, right? So Quincy has two traits. Oh, they're in a bad mood. Oh no. Okay. This is the dumbest thing you've ever done. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at him and see. Uh, oh, he's apathetic. So he's not empathetic. Okay. So that's fine. Oh, his, he already has like a bad, oh, because our faith is down super low. That's why. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Quincy, uh, maintenance, please. And let's see here. Where is he? I think for all the new people, I'm just going to keep their schedule as is like whenever they come in. So that way, Maybe it'll give us like a little bit more balance because again, like so far, like I'm having like kind of like a hard time with uh, making sure everything is like, I don't know, like they get enough time to do all the things that they need to do. So I'll just keep an eye on the new people and see if maybe they're a little bit more successful in taking care of themselves and taking care of everything that needs to be done in their task but who is our cook again kitchen nile okay yeah see he's sitting here prioritizing the lobby cannot use this why why can't he use this overriding schedule okay oh look at him <laughs> the little spoon and spatula <laughs> So my understanding is that we have to buy the ingredients, we have to actually get it prepared, and then people will go to this table to get the food versus um, the vending machine. So yeah, I think just having, allowing them to like actually use the vending machine is probably the best idea, just in case. Alpha, beep. <laughs> Like, let's hope it's a good one. Can you remember the tallest man you've ever seen? Maybe Brendan Fraser. Uh, may Brendan Fraser be with you. Okay. So slowly but surely, we're getting out of like the faith hole that we've dug ourselves into. So research. We still have a bit of research uh, saved up. So let's go ahead and oh, 170. Yikes. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So I guess we gotta wait a little bit. Uh, spirit chamber followers using this will gain XP and generate influence. So maybe let's just do something small. Like, just get all the small stuff taken care of before we start going off and doing the other stuff. But we definitely want the bedroom upgrade first. So our faith is going down all the time. I'm wondering if I sit here and kind of cheat a little bit and do our sermon like first thing in the morning. If maybe uh, we'll be able to kind of get enough to finally sit here and do a divine inspiration. Since it takes 20. It only takes 40 influence, which we have. But the faith is the problem that we've been having. So we're kind of sort of fixing our influence problem. But now we are having like a really bad chronic faith problem. We also do have um, beds available now. So let's go ahead and get this a, li a little bit better. So delete some of this stuff. I don't know how many beds we could afford. So bed, 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 bed. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We're just going to stick with a communal bedroom for like a while, I think. So delete objects, delete object. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is how many Brandy X we have. 
Uh, we could do a couple more since uh, hopefully we'll get nine and more. So locker room or uh, locker, it'll add to the prestige a little bit. Gets to the prestige is better. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know. Hopefully that helps out a lot with the mood issues that we've been having. Okay. May Brendan Fraser be with you always. All glory to Brendan Fraser. All right. So, okay. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. <laughs> okay. So now Lovey has to actually do something. So, new theme starts you on the path of darkness. You've got to start somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so excellent. So she's going to do her thing and hopefully get that done relatively quickly. Okay, so this is done. Uh, back to Divine Inspirations. Okay. So when this is selected, a spread darkness mission is created on the world map. Complete the mission to complete this Divine Inspiration. Okay, so... I guess we have to click this, but we don't have enough faith for it. Uh, therapy room. Colors gaining. Okay. Interesting. All right. So infernal heat room. Ha. Uh, let's see. So I mean, like, what is it? Spread darkness mission. Okay. Mm, interesting. So I guess the other one is just like only tied to like the therapy room, which we do have unlocked. I just don't know where we're going to put it. Um, so build, let's see here. How big is this? 30 by 6. Yeah, I'm going to have to like 1, 2, 3, 4, 30, oh, 16 by 6, at least for now. I'll have to rearrange stuff over here eventually so that way um, this makes a little bit more sense and the space is taken up like more, I don't know, it's just more efficient basically. So rooms, spirit chamber, okay. So, uh, boredom rate, one. Influence generated, money spent, XP gained. Okay, all of that seems interesting. Oh, there's a Ouija table? Whoa. A spirit table? Oh, wow. Okay, so this actually needs to be in the bigger room, maybe. Uh, let's just put it over there, I guess. Spirit lecture. Okay. This is going to be an interesting room, to say the least. And conspicuous plants. <laughs> like, yes, yes, everything is fine. Uh, there's nothing suspicious about those plants at all. Pictures. So, a picture of our glorious leader. Some important looking information. And then we're broke. Oh, no. Okay, please give us our, your money. <laughs> Like, we need to be able to eat! <laughs> so, influence cap. So now we can do 1250, where we have never gotten anywhere close to a thousand. So, I, yeah, not really an issue. <laughs> but covert ops was the next thing that I really wanted to kind of buy for. So that way we could be a little bit more successful. Oh, see, look, we've got somebody that's hungry. Ooh, you failed. Yeah, go eat something if you're hungry. Like, you're on free time right now. She, like, didn't eat anything. <laughs> like, Penelope, why? Like, eat something. Like, if you're starving, go eat something. Like, we have enough money for you to eat. Why is she not eating anything? Uh... Minor health crisis. I mean, she's... She's, like, not starving. So, I guess she did eat something really quick and I just didn't see it happen. I don't know. That was weird. Interesting. Well, alright, guys. That's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out with me. And until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next episode.